Hi there, Broby223 here, and thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel. You're watching episode 3.1, which is the second episode of my slug review series where I'm conducting some short-range penetration tests of various 12-gauge rifled slugs. This week, we're going to be looking at Federal's Premium Trueball Deep Penetrator 1-ounce 12-gauge rifled slug. The slug features a flat met plate with no hollow point, a thick copper plating, and a unique polymer ball wad combination that supposedly better centers and seals the slug in the barrel for better long-range accuracy. I'm going to leave the long-range accuracy testing for another episode, though, because today we're going to shoot one from 7 yards into a block of carefully prepared and calibrated 10% ordnance gel solely to test for short-range penetration characteristics. Why test from such short range? The application I'm most interested in is defense against a large dangerous animal, and over the years I've had the misfortune of having to shoot a couple with my 12 gauge shotgun. One of these shootings occurred at extremely close range, and the abysmal performance of the rifled slug I was using has left me strongly motivated to do a big bunch of testing and try and find a better slug. For a good analogy on how my dangerous animal experience panned out, Check out last week's review where I tested Winchester's Super X Hollow Point Rifled Slug. And now that you know a bit about the background behind these tests, let's dive right in. Here's my test setup. It's two blocks of 10% ordnance gelatin, which I calibrated immediately prior to setting up the camera. Each block measures 8 inches wide, 8 inches tall, and 18 inches long. I'm using a 12 gauge Remington Versamax Tactical with a 22 inch barrel, and I just loaded it with one of Federal's premium True Ball Deep Penetrator 12 gauge slugs that I'm going to shoot into that gelatin block from a range of 7 yards. Here we go. Okay, I'll put the gun away now, grab the camera, and we'll check out the wound track of that slug. Are you ready? Wow. Talk about a big difference by comparison to last week's episode. That's a nice straight wound track with an impressive 32 and a half inches of permanent penetration. If you go back and compare it to last week's Winchester Super X Hollow Point Rifled Slug Review, you'll see that the Federal True Ball Deep Penetrator lives up to its name with at least double the penetration. The wound track's temporary stretch cavity runs pretty much the entire length of the first block even extending a bit into the second, and the slug appears to have stayed intact as well as exhibiting very little deformation. I'll put the camera down now so I can dig that slug out and we'll head back to the shop for a closer look. Let's start with a short exam of an unfired slug. It looks pretty much like a normal 12 gauge foster slug that's been given a serious copper plating treatment and a specialized polymer ball wad base combo. The copper plating is thick enough that it likely imparts some of the copper's relative hardness properties to the slug as a whole, and I'm also curious to know if the lead slug itself is just plain old elemental lead, or whether it's been alloyed with something like tin or linotype for increased hardness. Regardless, the end result is a slug that certainly deforms less than the straight soft hollow point we tested in the previous episode. Now here's the slug I dug out of the second gelatin block. It's got a nice flat met plate, which I think for a 12 gauge slug is much better than a hollow point that's designed to expand, especially given that we're starting out with a projectile that has a diameter of approximately 3 quarters of an inch. You can see that the copper plating has been eroded off the ridges of the slug's rifling. A good question might be whether prolonged use of this slug could result in copper fouling building up within the shotgun barrel, or perhaps it's simply that the missing copper is being scraped into the grooves between the ridges and the copper missing from the base of the slug would seem to indicate to me a good seal with the inside diameter of the barrel as the slug is subject to acceleration. Curious to me though is the seemingly asymmetrical out of round characterizations of the slug's deformation. That polymer ball has been driven hard into the base of the slug, but the slug seems to me like it's kind of out of round. I wonder if this occurred because the slug wasn't quite centered when it was swaged through the barrel's forcing cone, or maybe the deformation came from a slightly angled impact with the gelatin block. It's seemingly unimportant though, as the slug traced a straight line through the gelatin, and my long range practice has indicated good accuracy from several of my different guns. So in conclusion, if you're looking for a deeply penetrating 12 gauge rifle slug for use with your smoothbore shotgun and a potential close range dangerous animal application, I think this is a great slug. In stark contrast to last week's slug review, Federal's True Ball Deep Penetrator exhibited minimal expansion, straight wound channel tracking, and true to name deep penetrating characteristics. I think it's this combination that makes for the best chance of vital damage given proper shot placement, and consequently I have no hesitation in recommending this slug. If you liked what you saw in this episode and are interested in seeing more like it, 
please subscribe and you'll be notified when I upload future episodes. Next up, the much talked about Brennicky and I can hardly wait. Thanks so much for watching and take care till next time. Bye for now.